Okie dokie. So in this problem, we're given this piecewise function here, and we're asked to identify which graph correctly corresponds to it. What's going to help first, if you're unfamiliar with piecewise functions, is thinking about um, really how they work. So we have one, two, and three pieces here. One, two, and three different functions. These one, two, and three pieces correspond to the furthest left, the center, and the furthest, excuse me, the furthest right piece of our function. So left, middle, right, left, middle, right. Um, so with that in mind, the first thing then to consider is whether or not these inequalities are yielding a solid dot or an open dot. So when it's uh, less than, greater than, or equal to, when it has the equal to, you're looking for a solid dot. When it's not equal to, you're looking for the open dot. So we can just look at this x less than or equal to 4 and find the functions for which uh, we have a solid dot on the furthest left part of the graph. So that would be a and c, allowing us to eliminate b and d because they have open circles for x values less than 4. Um, so then we're looking at a or c. So what we need to consider next is simply the middle function here. So 1 over 36 and then the rest. The main thing I'm looking for is this 1 over 36 to tell whether or not it's positive or negative. If it's positive, we're looking for an increasing piece. And if it's negative, we're looking for a decreasing piece. And again, this second, you know, uh, function piece represents the middle piece of the graph. So it looks like C, it's very faint, but it's slightly increasing while A is decreasing. So that should give us our answer right away, which is C. And again, we found that out just by looking at the inequalities in the open and closed circles, and then the middle piece of the function that it's increasing based on the 1 over 36.